Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about a nurse, Narsidine Imavol versus Chris Curtis. A Narsidine Imavol, 12 wins, 4 losses. He's 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights. Did lose his last one against Sean, Sean Strickland on short notice for Sean Strickland. 27 years old, 6'3 with a 75 inch reach. Fighting Chris, the action man, Curtis, 30 wins, 10 losses. He's also 3 and 2 in his last five fights his last loss was against kelvin gaslam a month ago where there was a there was a headbutt that had hurt chris curtis and uh very close fight and i thought i did think kelvin won that fight but 35 years old 510 with a 75 and a half inch reach he's gonna be a much shorter guy but will have a half inch reach advantage the thing is though with this matchup with Narsidin, he tries to overwhelm fighters and he tries to get the takedown. He tries to go in and out. And I think the in and out style of Imavov really is going to help Chris Curtis because he's not going to have to close that distance as much as he typically would because of Imavov going in a straight line, coming in at angles. Chris Curtis's boxing is very good. He's very good defensively. Um, and his takedown defense is absolutely incredible. I do believe his takedown defense will get broken this this fight, I do think Imavov will get him down, but I think Curtis will always get back up, and I think Chris Curtis lands a uh, big, big shots throughout the fight, and I think he wins the decision. I could see him stopping Imavov just because, again, Imavov charges in. When you charge in with a guy that, with a guy that has big power and does uh, have good combinations and punches and striking, I do think that you can get hurt more than you typically would. And again, we've seen Imavov get beat up on. We we've seen when Phil Hawes beat him uh, the first two round, the first yeah, the first two rounds he uh, wrestled him, and then Imavov came up in the third round. And then with Sean Strickland, Sean Strickland, you know, kind of just out um, hustled him, outstruck him, you know, all those, all those things. He did hit him with some big shots, though. I will say, Sean Strickland did. But yeah, I like Chris Curtis in this fight. I don't really see a game plan of of Imavov to win this. Except for him just constantly going and not giving a chance for Chris Curtis to breathe. And I just think Chris Curtis, his boxing and his takedown defense and his uh, constant just going, uh, I, I think that this that really helps Chris Curtis in this fight. Even if you don't like his attitude and all that, his, his fighting is very, very good. But as always, guys, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, and as always, I'll see you the next one. Peace.